video and today it's going to be something a little different I, well, I've done personally but I haven't made a video on and that is we're going to be setting some beaver traps it's right now I'm in so it's spring beaver season so we're going to start we're going to start or I'm going to show you how to how I do these sets and what I use to do them and we're going to start the first one off I'm going to do a couple sets today it's going to be like right here that set it's going to be a cat or not that set. it's going to be a cast around set so I'm going to set it right here and I'm going to show you how to do it so let's get right into it so stay tuned right here as you can see I'm holding my hands this is a 330 Belial Connor Bear and these things are nasty they are great beaver traps but you don't want to eat your hands in them because they'll probably break your hand or worse it yeah you might have to get your hand amputated so while I'm handling these I, I'm going to be very careful and if you don't know how to do this and if you're not experienced with setting them look on YouTube and videos on how to set them or learn from somebody you know that traps how to set them before you set one because it can be really brutal to your hand if you get them in there in the jaws and then you always want to have your trap tag like right here I have mine I always want to have that or otherwise it's illegal you don't want to do that either so I'm going to show you how to set the trap right here and then I'm going to show you how I did it and what to do. So I'm going to get everything set up and then stay right tuned. Here, I might have to adjust the camera a little. Yeah, that might help. You can see right here, I'm, there's this little pathway right here. Where I'm going to have it where the beavers swim up. I'm clearing out the grass right here to make more of a pathway. And once again, this is a pasture mount set. It is pretty deep right here. You can see here I have my trap set the springs are ready the safeties are on though I always take those off before you set the trap that's also important otherwise you will lose your catches and so I'm gonna let that sit I'm gonna finish this up here and then I'm gonna set the trap and show you guys everything I'm doing so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put on the chest mount and I'm gonna show you kind of what I do and how I do it so let's get right into it. Tell here, I have everything kind of. I should probably adjust this a little bit more. I have everything. I'm getting everything cleared out in here. Make sure the trap doesn't set off. I put it here, and like if you look down here where I put my mud boot, it's up to here. But look how deep it gets in here. It's really deep. I don't want to go over my boot. Day staying high. Pull this out in there. Pull it all the stuff out of here. Wrap that around the stick. Wrap these around the stick, kind of blend them in. So far you can tell we kind of have a path for them to swim in here, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, see all this mud I pulled out? I'm going to just take this mud right here, I'm going to bring it over here, I'm going to try to, as much as in, as in I'm going to just stick it right there in the bank because it's called a caster mound and what they actually do is they come up and make a mound just like this Jeez. and Ooh. just make a mound like that and then I have some lure I put on there that they pull out of their caster gland they have and then I'll put the, I'm gonna put the trap in here first blend it in and I'm gonna put the scent in there last 
So I'm gonna grab my trap right over here. This camera keeps moving on me. Like right here. Here it is again. I'm gonna have Danny, when he's done over there, pulling that out, I'm gonna set it down. Take my safeties off. You can see my safeties are off of the trap. You kind of need to sometimes play around with the trap. I'm sorry if the camera can't see anything right now because it's kind of. There. I'm sorry the camera couldn't see anything. The camera kind of fell off. I was putting the trap in. And I'm gonna keep the light on. As you can tell right here, trap is halfway underwater, which you always want to do because otherwise, it is illegal. You can't have it like just all the way up off the water. So I'm gonna have it like that. It's good. Right. There, that's good. So just like that. And I'm gonna set the camera down for a second and show you what else I do. Right here, and I'm gonna just blend in the trap in. And I'm gonna kinda put some on that, try to get it on the bar of the trap. Because you just want the trap in general just to blend in. I'm gonna throw some of this stuff because as you can see it was lower here and they might try to climb over and go around that way. You don't want that because if they know. These beavers are smart and I've been trapped before, like these ones have, and you can tell I'm just trapping a small pond out here. But now, grab some more grass, put it on this side right here. I'm just like ripping off some grass right here, grass limbs. And then I'm gonna try to get a little bit more mud on there. I'm gonna chop some limbs off, just kind of block them. Why is it important to have a sharp axe? Like this one's getting a little dull. You need to sharpen that. You know, I'm just gonna set my axe down right there. gonna try to just make it where they don't want to climb up over here. Like here they just might want to climb up and over the bank. I'm just gonna put that right there. And you know me, I'm not gonna put as much grass on there but I'm actually gonna lay a stick across so that's gonna work better for the grass. I have a stick right here. set here and then I'm gonna show you what to do after. Well here I have my lure now. This is a Minnesota brand a beaver caster and I finished my set right here and I blended the whole trap in for the most part and blended the top. The beaver it's gonna be harder to see. They're saying hi. They're messing around seeing how deep the water is. And now I'm gonna put some of the beaver caster on here. This looks like that, just brown. I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna put it right there on the end of the stick on the mound, just like that. So there, now I have my trap there, kind of blocked off here. I'm gonna block something here so they don't come from behind over here. I don't think they will, but just in case. So now as you can tell, they'll swim here and they'll get caught in the trap. And now, that's your basic caster mount set, and it's pretty easy to do, very simple, one of the basic sets of beaver trapping. So, I'm going to go do a couple more sets, I'm going to film them, 
and then I'm gonna put something here really quick to block that off so hopefully I think I'm just gonna do a couple more caster mount sets so stay tuned well, here we're over across pond now the other caster mount's down there I have this was already here like this was already dug out and, like these trees right here these are chewed up from beaver they don't look too recent but I'm gonna set this here just to see if we have any other beaver come by and visit this. I'm gonna set one here. And you can tell like right here, that stick I have out there so they don't come and climb over. I'm gonna put some more brush there. But now if we go up here, I'm gonna set the trap and I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. the trap right here I'm gonna have to move this down a little bit oh, I can just flip it over after and if you can see here as I'm holding it like this I just put my safety on That's what happens when it snaps off. I actually was not expecting that to happen. I didn't even try to do that. That's why you gotta be really careful when you're handling these. And now, actually, I found out why. You see the safety here, right here? It's bent. So now I'm gonna put this trap back. I'm gonna grab this one. This one is a little bit newer. That one had for a while. See, now my safety locks, because that one wasn't bent. And I always have your trap tag, you can kind of see it, and I'm pulling that right there. I always have, always, always, always have those on your truck. Put that safety up. Nice right, and easy. And there, we're halfway done. And right here, I'm just going to kind of clear a little area for like the trap doesn't get snapped off by any leaves or twigs or something like that. safety's over there. And I just use these little tongs I have here. These, you can buy them on like Minnesota Trap Line or something like that. I flip my safety up. Close it one more. There. there. Set. And now I'm going to grab this. And you see how I have these two triggers, those two metal wires spread fire far apart. That's because the beaver's bigger. Now on this one I'm going to set the trap upside down like this because when the beaver swims up you don't want those wires to stick into the top of his fur. That's the primus fur and I forgot to show you to do that on the last one. So I'm going to set this out of here just get it completely out of the way where I don't bump it and get my leg in there or something. Now I'm going to go back down here And kind of grab some of this mud.
Ja. And get this down there. And I'll try to actually go over here. And try to get the trap down here. Like that. I hold it up here with one hand, reach way down below. Get that stick on there because you don't want that. Let me set the trap off. It's deep here. Holy moly. Wow, it's really deep. See the stick is here. I'm gonna get that out of there. There we go. It's perfect. Right in there. And take some mud and such. And get it all over here, just kind of blend it in the trap. Grab some of the grass like I did last time. Put that over. Get this muddy grass in here. Put that over here. I'm gonna get some grass and right here and just set that on up top of the that I'm gonna be very careful. Reach grab that and you can tell right there and the beaver chewed on it. Oh that was a sucky throw. Toss that out there. Got mud all over my face. So now I get out of here and I'm gonna camel plug the trap a little bit more. Like I, I chopped off some limbs up here. Put those right in there again. So now I'm going to grab my lure. So I have my lure right here. I showed you last time. It's a Minnesota brand. I'm just going to take this right off here. Get the stick full of it. Put that in there and then I'm going to take a little put it on the end of the stick here. Throw that stick in the water right there. For that will help hack the beaver. Now as you can tell now, if you just look at the whole set here, you can tell right here that I camouflage the whole thing on my scent right there, my trap right there, and my poles right there. Now this this is a little this is a little bit different of a cast around set because it's or it's the same thing, it's just more on a hill. A little bit hard to make so now I'm gonna go see if I can make any other ones it's kind of a small pond so I don't want to throw all my traps here but I'm gonna make a video tomorrow or whenever I come and check them because you legally have to check them every three days at least so I'm gonna hopefully set one more and then that's probably gonna be the end of the video after I set one more if I don't so I'm gonna find out so stay tuned